Hi, I'm Darren Wesse. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Biological Sciences at SIUE. And I study plant molecular genetics and gravitropism. And I recently sent one of my experiments to the International Space Station in a partnership with NASA and Ohio University. And the plants have come back and we've been analyzing the data. And I've decided that we need to send some more plants to space. And this is why I have a great opportunity for an SIUE student. So what I'm looking for is an SIUE student to accompany me back into space so we can basically finish this research. There's a few requirements I have. Number one, I need a very enthusiastic student. I want someone who's really going to be into this and willing to work pretty hard. Number two, I need a student who's going to be into the biology of the program. So I want a student who's interested in basic science, who really wants to do research on plants and is interested in that kind of thing. Uh, number three, I need someone who's going to work really hard. The experiments I have planned are going to take a lot of hard work to accomplish. We're going to have to take pictures every two or three hours. You're going to have to water them all the time. So it's going to be a lot of work in between checking out the sunrise from the view in space. Um, then the next thing I'm going to need, I'm going to need a student who has a degree in biology, uh, probably also one in physics and math, and then probably, I guess, advanced degrees in molecular genetics and aerospace engineering. Um, so that would be very helpful. And if you have your pilot's license, that would be great. Um, and then I also need someone who's probably independently wealthy because I decided to circumvent NASA on this last one. So I just want to basically fund it ourselves. So if you have like $500 million laying around, either you or your family's foundation, that would be fantastic. Oh, and the last one little thing we need to leave today so we can spend April Fool's Day there together.